Hi, welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to explain the topic motion of charged particle in uniform electric field. So, let us consider two charge plates, parallel plates, and one plate is positively charged, the other plate is negatively charged, and they have equal surface charge density so that there is a uniform electric field in the region between the two plates, and this uh, electric field. Uh, this is positively charged, this plate is negatively charged, so electric field intensity, it is directed in the downward direction. Okay, now suppose you have a point charge uh, minus Q and this mass is M, it is projected in this direction with speed Vx. Now let us define this axis as x-axis and this as y-axis. Okay, so this charge particle it is projected along x-axis with initial velocity Vx. Now, this being a negative charge particle, it will be deflected opposite to the direction of electric field. Electric field is directed in the downward direction. This plate is positively charged, this plate is negatively charged. So this charge particle, it will be deflected in this direction. So this is the trajectory of the charge particle. So basically, we are going to study this trajectory. Okay. So now, this, as we can see that here the motion is taking place both along x-axis as well as along y-axis. So, let us write the equation of motion, second equation of motion S is equal to ut plus half at square. Now, for motion along x axis, we have x is equal to uxt, this is initial velocity and this is initial velocity along x axis time plus half ax, that is the acceleration along x axis into t square. Similarly, for displacement along y-axis, we have y is equal to u y t plus half a y t square. Okay. So, for displacement along x-axis, we have x is equal to u x is v x in this case. Initial velocity along x-axis is v x. So, v x into t plus acceleration along x-axis. See, the force on the discharge particle, it is acting along this direction along y-axis. So, there is no force acting along x-axis. So, there is no acceleration along x-axis. So, this term is 0. So, therefore, this entire term reduces to 0. So, we have x is equal to vx into t. Now, for displacement along y-axis, we have y is equal to, see this charge particle is projected with initial velocity along x-axis. That means, initial velocity along y-axis is 0. So, this first term is 0 because ui is 0. So, 0 plus half acceleration a y is the acceleration along y axis now acceleration is acceleration is force by mass force along y axis is charges q electric field is e so this is q e by m so this is the acceleration so a y acceleration along y axis is q e by m into t square now from this equation we have t is equal to x by vx. Now if you substitute the value of t from this equation and substitute this value in this equation, we get y is equal to qe by twice m into x square by vx square. Okay. Now this equation is in the form of the parabola equation. So that is, this equation represents the trajectory of the charge particle, trajectory of the charge particle. And what do we observe? That this trajectory is parabolic. This trajectory is parabolic. Now, based on this concept, if we see this question from NCRT 1.33, question number 1.33, page number 50, the question reads as a particle of mass m charge minus q enters a region between the two charge plates initially moving along x axis with the speed of vx. So, charge particle is moving along x axis with initial speed vx. The length of the plate is given L, uniform electric field is E between the plates show that the vertical deflection of the particle at far edge of the plate is 
this expression okay so you have to prove that the vertical deflection is this so basically in this relation in the equation of trajectory if you substitute x as l that is the length of the plate this this total displacement l so you will get the answer or you will be able to prove that y is equal to q e instead of x it is l square by twice m vx square so this is what you have to prove in question number 1.33 this is the deflection okay now in the next question in the next question that is 1.34 suppose the particle in the previous question 1.33 is an electron and initial loss is given if electric field between the plates uh, strength of the field is given distance between the plates is given where will the electron strike the upper plate where will the electron strike the upper plate that is you have to find you have to find the value of x okay so that location can be determined by using two equations from this equation you get the value of t okay from this equation you get the value of t so from this equation i can write t as twice y m divided by q e this is this is t okay and uh, what is l this relation x is equal to vx into t okay now the value of x in the question is given to be equal to l so this reduces to be l is equal to vx into t and what is this t t is this value so substitute the value of t over here and if you solve you'll get you'll get the value of if you solve this equation you'll get the value of y to be equal to 1.6 centimeter you'll solve this and check whether you are getting this final value so this is the basic concept and uh, you might have observed that the basically this motion of uh, charge particle in uh, electric field is identical to motion of particle moving in a gravitational field so this is the concept of motion of charge particle in uniform electric field